In this video, we're taking a look at 12 landscape mods for Fallout 4. And I've organized them into four different categories. Vanilla, green, desert, and winter categories. We'll be picking our favorite from each category and along the way, I'll be mentioning some complimentary mods to those landscapes. Let's start with our first mod in the vanilla category, Dry Wasteland by Wakadile. Wakadile's dead and dry landscape aims to create a more post-apocalyptic atmosphere within Fallout 4. I love this mod for its simplicity and how it stays true to the vanilla aesthetic while still changing things just enough to achieve its goal of inventing a more dead wasteland landscape. The textures are in 2K and definitely an upgrade over vanilla textures in my opinion. Dry Wasteland's landscape is lore friendly and definitely looks more post-apocalyptic than the vanilla landscape. Unfortunately, there's only one file download on the mod page, so that means the textures come in only one size option. This mod makes Fallout 4 look a lot like Fallout 3, and to complement that, I'm gonna be using Fallout 3 Lighting ENB, Dilapidated Roads, and Capital Wasteland Raiders. Up next is Vivid Fallout Landscapes by Hein84. The vibrant Vivid Fallout Landscapes brings more color saturation and more landscape details with its retexture of Fallout 4's trees, rocks, and terrain. This is best suited for those wanting a more saturated looking wasteland but still want to maintain a vanilla friendly aesthetic. The textures are higher in quality than vanilla textures and are better optimized too, so you could expect better performance with this mod. Overall Vivid Fallout creates a more lively wasteland, is lore friendly, high in quality and better optimized. But I often find myself distracted by how detailed the textures are in this mod. Our final mod in the vanilla category is Natural Landscapes by Spiffy Sky Trooper. Natural Landscapes aims to bring more realism to Fallout 4's environment while staying true to the vanilla look. This mod retextures the entire landscape including rocks and roads, but it does not touch trees. The textures come in 2K and 4K and aren't detailed in a distracting way, instead they are detailed but natural. This mod is best suited for those of us who want a more realistic Boston wasteland and a higher quality landscape. Spiffy Sky Trooper's landscape is lore friendly, superior in quality, and the mod page includes different file download options. Natural landscapes will give you the best quality out of all three mods, Vivid Fallout will give you the best performance, and Natural Landscapes is the most vanilla friendly mod. Alright, now we're moving on to the green category, starting with the mod A Forest by Death by Kitty. This mod aims to simulate an overgrown environment within Fallout 4 while still retaining a post apocalyptic aesthetic. And on top of retexturing the landscape, this mod adds grass, plants, and trees to the Commonwealth. If I were to pick an overgrowth mod, this is the one I choose because it doesn't go overboard with its changes, unlike other mods on the Nexus. But it's a shame there are no other download options, so no user customizability comes with this mod. But the real reason why I love this mod so much is because it makes Fallout 4 look a lot like the game The Last of Us. So for those of you out there who are looking to turn Fallout 4 into a zombie apocalypse, here are a few mods that will aid you with that. Running Dead, Zombie Walkers, Black Summer, More Feral Ghouls, and Feral Ghoul Bite Skill. Our second mod in the green category is Verdant Wasteland by Createx. Verdant Wasteland is the most vanilla and performance friendly mod on the green list because its aim is to only retexture the game's already existing plants, grass and trees to something more green and lively. The landscape textures however are unchanged, so you could also use a landscape retexture mod like Natural Landscapes with Verdant Wasteland. I would definitely use this mod for maximum compatibility and customizability with other mods. Overall, Verdant Wasteland is a very lightweight green mod. It doesn't add any trees, it can be used with other landscape retextures, and if you can barely run Fallout 4, but you're looking to make the game a little more green, this is the best option for you. And for complimentary mods, this is a little crazy, but I just found myself really enjoying this uh, setup. Um, I use Fungal Commonwealth, M's Abominations, and Crazy Safari Redone. This combination of mods turns Fallout 4's landscape into somewhat of a fantasy environment. Our third mod on the green list is Nature's Awakening by Xanum. This landscape mod attempts to bring more life to Fallout 4's landscape in a lore friendly manner by retexturing the rocks, trees, plants and terrain of the wasteland. Textures are in 2K and the mod has optional Nuka World support. This mod really shines best when we use the complementary mods, Trees Redux, Dilapidated Roads, and more leaves effects. 
This combination of mods is my favorite for an autumn season overhaul for Fallout 4. Nature's Awakening is lore friendly, performance friendly, and it has DLC support for Nuka World. Borealis's Landscape Retexture by Delicious Veggie. The final landscape retexture in this category is also the most lively. This mod will retexture everything related to the landscape and adds a lot of trees with the help of other mods. It even retextures roads to make them look like a path made of dirt to further achieve that forest look. I recommend this mod to anyone who wants a true forest or jungle look for Fallout 4 and couldn't possibly give less of a fuck about lore or realism. This mod completely overhauls Fallout 4's landscape and in my opinion it is definitely the definitive green mod for Fallout 4. It's gorgeous and has amazing quality and it even includes a lore backstory in the mod description for why the landscape is what it is in Fallout 4 now. But the mod requires other mods to function properly and it might cause slight FPS drops but personally I haven't experienced any but yet again I'm not a peasant with a shit graphics card. If you want to turn Fallout 4 into Far Cry Primal, this is definitely the mod for you. On a scale, Borealis's landscape is the highest in quality, Verdant Wasteland is the best for performance, and here are all four mods organized from least lively to most lively. Moving on to the desert category, we have Desperado's Overhaul by Spiffy Skytrooper. This landscape overhaul completely changes Fallout 4's environment into a western desert. The mod rids the commonwealth of trees and adds new plant life to the landscape like cacti and joshua trees. The glowing sea is even changed into a pine forest now. And for those of us wanting to bring back the Fallout New Vegas aesthetic to Fallout 4, this is as close as it gets. Desperado's overhaul is superior in quality and in my opinion it is the best desert overhaul available on the Nexus. However the mod does have some bugs and compatibility issues. Complementary mods are Mojave Geckos, Mojave Mantises and you can grab the pre-generated LOD for Desperado's overhaul from my LOD over at the Nexus. Our second and final mod in the desert category is Badlands 2 by Delicious Veggie. Badlands 2 aims to create a fantasy desert landscape for Fallout 4. This mod retextures the rocks, trees and terrain of Fallout 4 and everything looks a lot more brown and rusty. This is the closest you can get to a dead and dry wasteland in my opinion. And if you are looking for a landscape that best resembles the aesthetic of the classics like Fallout 2, this is your best choice. Unlike Desperado's overhaul, Badlands 2 does not change much about the landscape, it only retextures it. So Badlands 2 is more compatible. In my opinion, Desperado's overhaul wins in performance, quality, and as mentioned before, it is your best choice if you're looking to overhaul Fallout 4 into a dead and dry desert. Moving on to our final category in the video, the winter category, and our first mod is Ice Pick Overhaul by Spiffy Skytrooper. The first winter mod in this video aims to create a winter landscape in Fallout 4's wasteland without going too far and staying close to reality. Ice Pick is also compatible with weather mods and is performance friendly. I recommend this one to people looking for a winter landscape retexture mod that doesn't go overboard. The mod has the option to overhaul all DLCs, the quality is amazing, and as mentioned before, you can use this with whatever weather mod you like. In combination with complementary mods like Frozen Pines and Frozen Lakes, the game starts to look a lot like the winter chapters from The Last of Us. Our second mod in the winter category is Winter Overhaul by Mass Ship. This mod is the coldest and most icy of all the winter landscape mods. It has over 5000 textures and makes everything in Fallout 4 look as if it were inside a freezer. It also comes with its own weather, so it won't be compatible with any weather mods. If you want to turn Fallout 4 into an ice cream, this is the mod to do it. Winter Overhaul is actually really easy to install, you just click download and it's all in one folder. And as mentioned, it includes its own weather. So if you're looking to completely overhaul Fallout 4 in one click, this is the mod for you. However, a lot of the textures look ridiculous, like some buildings look white, like they're all just white. And of course, as mentioned, you can't combine this landscape with other weather mods. Mass Ship's Winter Overhaul actually reminds me a lot of Metro Exodus, so if you're a fan of Metro, then you might want to give this mod a try. The final mod is Winter Redone by Flecked. The mod will retexture the Commonwealth, Nuka World and Far Harbor to bring a cold snowy aesthetic to Fallout 4. I recommend this mod for those 
that just couldn't get ice pick overhaul for some reason. Like if you couldn't get it to work, this is the next best thing, basically. Ice pick overhaul has the best quality, winter overhaul is the coldest, and they all have pretty similar performance. Alright, here are the four mods I personally chose to be my favorite. And thank you for watching, I feel like I've traveled the world. <laughs>